Hey, what is up you guys? It is Savannah and I am here with another haul video. Um, this is a haul from a couple different trips to the Goodwill outlet this last week. The Goodwill outlet here has been seriously so insanely good. I just don't even know how to explain the kind of stuff I've been finding and just like the amount of it. Uh, I definitely have over 100 pounds of stuff here. I spent about $150 around there on three trips combined, so definitely pretty good. And I'm just excited to show you guys what I got. Um, this is going to be a super long haul, so hopefully you guys are shipping, listing, chilling, just you got time to kill because this is probably going to be an hour long, just uh, just forewarning. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to hop right into the clothes first and then I will show the shoes and like bags and all that fun stuff after. So starting with the clothes, um, the first thing I got is this pair of Lululemon uh, little black shorts and I think they're like swim shorts because it says wet dry warm but they have a really pretty like floral print. Yeah. Um, another Lululemon piece that I found is this upside down uh, sports bra and it kind of looks like like the triangle swimsuits you know it has like the clasp in the front um, and like the color blocking so definitely a play on that but yeah really cute sports bra and I'm always excited when I find Lululemon at the bins <laughs> and I found actually quite a bit these last couple days so um, this is a pair of American Eagle uh, distress they have like this really cool patchwork acid wash jeans and American Eagle is one of my bread and butter brands. I love finding it at the bins, especially when it's like a current style like those. Um, what are you? <laughs> this is Shade and Shore. Um, and apparently it's a good target brand according to my friend Latisse, but, um, it's just a really cute new with tags swimsuit top. It was definitely from Target. It was originally $29.99, but super light. So I picked it up. And swimwear sells year-round for me, so I'm not really concerned about listing it while it's super cold right now. People are going on vacation sometimes, somewhere. Um, this is just a pair of Express men's dress pants, and they are new with tags. I think they're wool, and they were originally $98, so that's cool. Um, I was excited to find that. New with tags is always fun to find at the bins. This is a... It's kind of falling off the tag. It's Holding Horses, which is an anthropology brand. Super pretty print dress. And it has pockets. I always have to point that out. When I'm wearing a dress with pockets and when I'm showing a dress with pockets, I always have to say it has pockets because it's important. <laughs> um, this is a Free People... Okay, next thing is this little Free People, like Periwinkle Blue. This is the back, so it has like a keyhole, open back, little swing tank top thing. Um, but yeah, it's Free People. Cute. Um, what are you? Oh, okay, this is a Victoria's Secret. I don't think this is silk, um, but it's just a nice little uh, silky looking robe. Mm, brand new with tags. Um, these are the limited, which is not typically a brand I pick up, but it does retail um, fairly high. So they're brand new with tags. Cassidy long dress pants. So that's cool that they're a size long or a long style size, whatever cut. <laughs> um, longer styles tend to sell better for me. Uh, so these were $74 originally. So that's neat. I'm just like pulling from this massive pile. I wish you guys could see uh, how huge it is. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. This is a Guinevere Anthropology uh, sweater. And I don't know how to figure out these ribbons cause like I pull them and then they look normal and then they like bunch up when you're not pulling them. So I, I don't know, but it's really pretty. Look at the bottom. Um, it's definitely an older Guinevere piece, but super pretty nonetheless. Um, this is a brand I actually just found for the first time, like, last week. 
And then I found it at the bins, and this piece is actually nicer than the one I found, even though the one I found was new with tags. Um, but this one is 100% cashmere, and it's just a nice duster cardigan. Um, this is a Patagonia men's, um, I believe this is the better sweater. And yeah, size large. Uh, the better sweaters sell a lightning fast for me. <laughs> Um, all the time. Men's, women's, kids, it does not matter. Um, this is just the Athleta little swim top. Athleta. Yeah, little tankini top. Um, Victoria's Secret Sport bra. These sell so well for me. Um, for like $20. Not crazy money, but they're very consistent. And there's another one somewhere in this mound of clothes. <laughs> um, this is a moth anthropology super soft this thing is so cozy i wish it was my size um just like a tunic sweater this is a lily pulitzer cardigan that i know has a hole right there but for bin pricing um i didn't think the hole was like significant enough like it's a really nice cardigan um and that's really the only flaw so i'll just list it obviously lower but i think someone will still want it and it was light so um somebody tossed this back and this is like one of my favorite finds it is an eileen fisher merino wool um it's like a button down kind of like sweater coat it's definitely heavier than like a normal sweater um, but yeah, it's like a brown color. It has some fuzz on it, but yeah, it's super nice. And this is a size large. I cannot believe someone tossed this back. I was really happy. There's like no flaws. So that was exciting. This is a Fabletics, uh, like a minty green lightweight jacket, which literally weighs nothing. So it's pretty much free. Um, this is a carbon to cobalt, which is one of my favorite men's brands to sell, carbon to cobalt. And this is just a nice, like, textured Henley long sleeve shirt. And I don't even know where that brand is sold, but it seems to have a following because everything I list, even, like, I've listed a pair of, like, pajama pants from them, sold very fast. What is my hair doing? Sorry. Um, this is a pair of J. Crew chino pants. These probably are not the most wintry color, but it's fine. Um, this is a brand new with tags pair of Levi's, and they are definitely vintage, um, as in they're not like made in the last, I'd say, 10 years. But I'm gonna have to check the dates. Um, they're new with tags, so that is cool but they're definitely like the mom jean type cut they don't have the button fly but they are a size 12 linens and new with tags i think i said that like three times <laughs> um oh this is so cute it is a zara knit chunky um kind of like ivory sweater with this really cute cutout and the little like choker neck thing super cute and this is mark by mark jacobs and it is a it almost looks like it has like a cherry print but it's 100 percent silk little blouse and i might just send it send this to thread up lux i don't even know if i'll list this this is a lafayette 148 100% silk skirt and it has a side slit somewhere right there um, but yeah super light I don't pick up that brand all the time because it really tends to sit for me but I don't know I thought it was a pretty piece um, another silk blouse Eileen Fisher uh, it's like this textured gray sleeveless blouse this athleta skirt, which I have sold a zillion times. I am totally blanking on the name. Um, but yeah, it's just like this brown athleta athletic skirt. 
Um, this is one of my favorite brands to find because it sells pretty well and it's super light. So it's Chaser and this is just a little graphic t-shirt. It says wild child free, free spirit, brave soul. That's what it says. Just a nice little burnout shirt. Um, some vintage Levi jeans. These have like the kind of a weird tag actually. It's like white and green. So I don't know to do some research they have a little bit of fraying but otherwise they're in good shape um a pair of peter millar which is a good men's brand just little gingham shorts um these are a pair of j crew super 120s I don't think I've ever sold these dress pants, but they are a size for tall women's um, and they're in excellent shape. So J Crew dress pants, if they have like the name below them, that's usually when I pick them up because typically they have a following. Um, people usually know what cut looks best on them. So they just buy it all the time. Um, this is another J Crew. This is a J Crew factory. But it's this really pretty navy scalloped shift dress. This is the other Victoria's Secret Sport Bra. They're probably the same size. I don't think I'll lot them though, although they'll probably sell to the same person if they're the same size. That's what typically happens. Um, people usually bundle them, but this is a pair of Pure Bar. Um, high-waisted leggings and some of these can be really expensive I have to do some research on the style I don't even know how I will find the style on these but some of them do well like 40 to 50 dollars but even if I get like 20 I'll be happy um, another good menswear brand is Ike Behar and it's a cashmere little pullover sweater Right, so this is a We the Free maroon like layered front tunic. It's like attached to my phone charger, sorry. Um, but yeah, I don't know, super cute, oversized, like free people usually is. Um, this is a wooden ships, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's turquoise knit sweater. I think it's wool or mohair. It feels like one of those. Um, this is another pair. Or a pair. Well, the other thing was a shirt. But another thing from the Chaser brands. And they are these super adorable um, lounge pants. They are so soft. They're like that wild fox material. And yeah. This is a pair of Madewell rail straight jeans and they are super distressed. The knees are kind of blown out, but um, some people like that. So, yep, rail straight. Oh, and it looks like that might be part of the style. It has like some stitching. I don't know. I'll have to do research. Maybe they were patched. Oh, yeah, they definitely were patched. Bummer. Um, some of you will probably still buy them though, honestly, because they were patched well, but I did not notice that. That's okay. Um, this is a pair of Free People little skinny jeans that also have the blown out knees and hopefully don't have patches. <laughs> it doesn't look like they do. Um, this is a Free People line I don't find very often. But it sells super well. Um, it is New Romantics Free People. This is a little embroidered denim dress. This little cutout on the back. All right, the next thing I found is this J. Crew chambray button-down shirt. I'm not sure if that's men or women's, but I will look up the style number. Um, this is just a women's Nike football shirt oh that's pretty neat this is brand new with tags polo ralph lauren it's like a 
button-down night shirt. I'm not sure if this was supposed to have pants. It probably was. Um, but it kind of looks like it's just supposed to be like a long nightgown, so I have no idea. Um, but yeah, new with tags. Polo Ralph Lauren. It's originally from Macy's. Yeah. Um, this is a free people. Where's the uh, neck? There we go. Free people. Blue, like, cutout top. It has really fun sleeves. It has, like, bell sleeves. So, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, pretty interesting. All right. The next thing is this Garnet Hill 100% um, cashmere duster cardigan. And I checked this, like, a million times a million times for holes, but I'll probably still find one. So that's all right. All right, so the next thing I found is uh, Icebreaker Merino, and this was originally from a Goodwill store. I just ripped the tag off because every ounce matters when you're at the bins. Um, but it's just a Merino wool like men's t-shirt, and I think it did have a couple holes, but that brand sells super well. And um, if you get some of their sweaters, they can be money. Um, this is a St. John collection. Gorgeous knit, like, waterfall cardigan. Um, I don't find St. John super often, and especially not at the bins, but, yeah, I was really excited about this. It's in excellent condition, too. And it is wool. Um, the next thing is another sweater. It's made well. In this little navy striped sweater. Um, this is a Lily Pulitzer. This is one of the items I didn't even need to look at the tag. I just saw the prints and I was like, there is no way that is not Lily Pulitzer. Um, so yeah, it's just the pink label. Has, I don't even know what print. It has sailboats and stuff on it. It has pockets. Um, but yeah, just a cute little dress. Size medium. Um, it's a J. Crew pink skirt with uh, this little button detail. Super fun. It's like a super solid piece too. It's kind of heavy. Okay, so moving on to the next bag of clothes. Um, this is a Bowden polka dot flare skirt, and I am pretty careful about what I pick up from this brand now, just because a lot of it sits for me. So. Um, at the bins, I'll usually grab it, but kind of on like a style by style basis. Oh, I was so excited to find this. Another Lululemon. It's like a black pullover. Oh, it has like a very nice, like stretchy material. I'm going to have to scour the internet for hours to find out what the style is, but um, yeah, super nice. I have an Aviva. Um, which is the Lululemon, like, kids brand. There's a little logo. Looks like a little carrot. Um, but just this little skirt. And I think I've actually sold this before. I don't remember what it's called. But, yeah. Um, this is a pair of Patagonia Capeline Long Johns. These sell super well, especially this time of year. People wear them. Um, under snow pants or whatever when they're doing winter activities, skiing, snowboarding, whatever. Um, this is, what are you? Is this another Nick and Nora? I think it is. Oh no, there's Soma. Soma. You can't see that, but they're these really cute pants. They say pancakes and pajamas. And they have champagne and cake. Well, I guess those are pancakes, not cake. It looked like a cake from far away. But um, they're super soft and Soma sells really well for me. So I wish I had the set, like the top, but I think they'll still do okay. People usually buy pajamas around this time of year for Christmas. Um, so this is a Masters um, official t-shirt. Um, so I don't know, this might be really good. I know like the Masters polos and stuff have done good for me in the past. Um, and this is the actual Masters collection too. So this one is from 2011. 
I think it might have a couple marks, but nothing major. Uh, this is a really fun Vineyard Vines uh, football long sleeve shirt with a little pocket. And it does have a couple little marks on the bottom. I washed it and tried to get them out, but I'll just disclose it and somebody will still want it because it's really cute. This is a Arc'teryx. I was so happy to find this at the bins. Um, these jackets do super well. And I rarely find Arc'teryx in general, but to find a jacket is awesome. So it's just like, it almost feels like the um, Better Sweater Patagonia jacket. So I'll have to do some research. But yeah, again, has a little pterodactyl looking thing right there. Oh, these pants are so soft and they're still warm for my dryer. So <laughs> like, I just uh, wish they were my size so I could keep them and claim them as my own. But they are North Face super fluffy pants. They're like the same material as the Osito jackets. Um, they have a little pocket, a little North Face. These are so stinking soft. And they are a size extra small. This is a J. Crew men's. I'm not sure what material this is. It feels like wool or maybe cashmere. Maybe I should check. Check the pockets. Um, it's a really nice coat though. Yeah, wool and cashmere. And some nylon in there too. But it's just this nice olive green, I guess like, I would call it a coat over like a blazer, but it's really nice. Ooh, I was excited to find these. I almost passed them up too. And I saw them out of the corner of my eye. I was like, oh my God, is that Lululemon I just tossed aside? And they are, I believe, the Align leggings um, based on the material. And they're in excellent shape. They, I don't know what length they are. I think these are the crops, but they're in awesome shape. They even have a little pull tab. They're size eight and um, the Aligns sell lightning fast for me. I've only had two pairs ever and they sold like same day um, for over $60. So I'll probably get like 50 to 60 for these since they're cropped, but I was really happy to find those. And with the tag on them, so I don't have to measure and like guess at the size. Because usually they the size tag is ripped out and they don't have a size dot. <laughs> um, this is a pair of J brand, like an olivey green skinny jean. And usually J brand has the style. These are the Maria in Spruceton. So, yeah, fun. This is uh, another master shirt. This one's from 2007 and it's also official masters has a different tag it's a little bit older but hopefully these do good um it's pretty cool it has like all the champions and stuff on the back yeah a couple marks on this one as well but i think somebody will still want them okay this is one of my favorite brands to find and i rarely find it it is ibex and they just make high quality wool pieces, like very similar to smart wool, um, stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to check this meticulously for holes. I checked while I was at the outlet, but um, it's just this black half zip wool sweater. And I'm not seeing any holes right now, so, so far so good. Uh, what are you? White House Black Market, little crop jeans. But these are fun because they have sequins in the little tear. <laughs> so I had to pick them up. Um, this is a Free People. Pretty sure this is like a tunic top. It's a little too short to be a dress. But it's just embroidered. Size zero. So it's tiny. But super cute. Uh, this is a pair of Athleta. And they're this orange crop vented. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the style, but they're in really good shape. It's a J. Crew 100% silk. Wow, the color is actually showing up really good on camera. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous, like royal blue, purpley color. 
Um, and any silk pieces from J. Crew usually fly for me. It's a Wayne's World hat. <laughs> it's seen better days. It needs to be reshaped a little bit, but this is an official Wayne's World hat from 1991. And I don't pick up a ton of vintage, but I love to find cool pieces like this. So these are actually selling for around like $60 to $70. So, um, I'm probably not going to get that much for mine just because it has a little wonkiness going on, but that's okay. Oh, okay. Let me tell you guys about this find. It was one of my favorites of the weekend. And you might be like, ooh, that looks boring. It's just a sweater, which is what I thought when I picked it up. But the reason I picked it up is because it was a sweater and it said Ireland on the tag. And Irish sweaters are worth a lot of money, <laughs> typically. And... In my day, I have sold quite a few Irish sweaters, like RN Craft sweaters, um, the LL Bean made in Ireland, any of those like heavy wool knit sweaters, they're money. Um, if it's made in Ireland and it's a sweater, at least look it up. So this brand, I'm probably gonna butcher the name, Inis Mien, it's made in Ireland. This is 100% um, baby alpaca, and it is a turtleneck, and it is in really good shape. I was like, is that a hole? As I say, really good shape. That's just the marl and the knit. Um, but it is in excellent shape. I did check it for holes like 8,000 times. And these are selling for like over $200. This sweater right here. I'll show you the brand again. It's just sometimes like you pick up brands because they feel nice and they shock the hell out of you and this is one of them so I miss mean probably pronouncing it wrong I'm sorry Ireland yeah this thing is so soft if it wasn't worth so much money you bet I'd be keeping it but there's a reason it's so soft because it was very expensive <laughs> um, this is a banana Republic 100% silk little geometric skirt Um, J. Crew or toothpick jeans and this really cool, um, like almost like a wash looking pink, but they're really soft, size 30. Yes. Uh, next, I found a Vince little skirt. It's pretty fun, but Vince doesn't really sell for me like it used to, unfortunately. Um, see Charlie and Robin, which is sold at Anthropology. It's just a mohair. This thing is so light. Like it, this probably cost me like twenty five cents, if not less. So it's just a really nice mohair pattern sweater. Okay, this is a really cool find. Um, it is missing a button, but that's all right. It is a coach men's suede vest so I didn't even know coach made like pieces like this I guess I was clueless that they made clothing and some of these are listed very high like in the 200s on eBay but I'm not expecting to get that because I'm missing the top button on this one but still super cool piece and I'm just excited to learn more stuff like I didn't know coach had clothes Learn something new every day. Um, Eliza J. How perfect is this for like Christmas? It's showing up a little brighter than it actually is. It's a little bit darker. It needs to be steamed hardcore. But it's this really pretty sweater dress. Next is one of my favorite things to find at the bins because they're so light. And it's a tie. And this is a Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, men's tie and it has like palm trees and birds some of these are selling for like 30 to 40 bucks and I probably paid like a quarter because <laughs> they're so light oh if this was my size I'd be keeping it although it does fit it looks pretty oversized for a medium but this is a Madewell super cozy flannel shirt this is like the perfect time of year for this who doesn't want an oversized flannel? It's just like the best. 
This is I think Top Shop. Nope, it's Zara. <laughs> um, it's a Zara woman fringy little houndstooth skirt. Okay, this has stains on it and it should have been tossed in my wash, but it was not. <laughs> it is a Patagonia um, little shirt, fly fishing shirt, but it's going in the wash pile because it's got stains. That's all right. If they don't come out, I will just sleep in it. <laughs> this is a pair of J. Crew mini wool stretch ankle dress pants. And they sell really well for me. Again, the little, if there's like a name under the J. Crew, like a style, people typically will look for that on eBay. Here's another pair of Pure Bar Capri pants. Um, so yeah, just cropped pants. This is a Lululemon. It still has the pull tag. Um, it's like this layered skirt. It's actually pretty cute. It's just black and white. And there's a logo somewhere. Oh yeah, it's kind of hidden. Oh, so it actually looks like this skirt is probably reversible. So I don't know if you can see that. And then it also has one on the inside somewhere. So yeah, it looks like you can just flip this skirt like inside out. Sorry if you hear my dog. He wants to come in, but he's not going to lay on all the nice clothes. Um, but yeah, so it looks like it's reversible, so that is cool. Um, this is a Moth Anthropology Open Knit sweater. It's kind of interesting, but it's at the bin, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, this is a pair of Hudson. These are the Krista Super Skinny Crop. And this really cool camo print. So yeah, you can see the style. Yeah, I love these. I just love camo everything, so I was excited to find those. Um, this is a pair of Fabletics leggings with like this really fun cutout on the sides. Um, they don't have a size tag, so I'm gonna have to measure those. This is a shirt I've sold many times pre-owned, just a Reagan bush, whatever, and it's new with tags. Yeah. They'll probably sell on Poshmark. This is another wooden ships. This label's different. I think this is older, um, but it's just like this really cute tied front sweater, and it is, I think, wool or mohair. I said the same thing about the other one. Let's actually check. Of course, there's not a tag. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it's mohair and wool. Hey. And those are so light that I honestly feel like I paid 25 cents. Um, this is a pair of Miss Me jeans. And I never, well, I never say never. I rarely find Miss Me's at the outlet just because everyone knows what they are. Um, but yeah, they're in excellent condition. And yeah, they have all the studs. Usually I find ones that are missing a stud or like all of them. <laughs> uh, this is a dress that I did some research on because I've never heard of this brand, but it looked interesting. It's the Odell's. And this dress was sold at Anthropology. So it's a super pretty tie-dyed high-low dress. And yeah, it was called like the Skyscape or Skyscrape, something like that. <laughs> but it was sold at Anthropology. Um, it's just a brand new with tags, Under Armour, base layer. Um, this is a Trip, which is a like gothic kind of punky brand. It sells pretty well for me on eBay. Um, it's this really cool lace-up, full-zip corset. This is an older junk food shirt <laughs> before they were sold at Target. Um, but it's an Alice in Wonderland, like super soft 
shirt. I just really like the graphics, so I thought it would do good. Plus, I like Alice in Wonderland. It's a personal fave. Um, this is cloth and stone. It needs to be steamed very badly, but it's this little ombre dip dyed shirt. Okay, this is a pair of Arcteryx. Has that little like dinosaur pterodactyl looking thing. Um, but just little men's shorts. And I think this elastic is like a little stretched out. So I'm gonna have to note that. Um, when I found them, they were tied like super tight. So I think that's why they're a little misshaped, but I will definitely note that. This is a Lululemon sports bra. It has like a Heather with like neon yellow straps. Um, Pilker on the letterpress. Just also sold at Anthropology. They are just a gray linen pant. I thought they were fun. Oh, the pockets inside are super fun. I've never found this brand before, and unfortunately, I only found a top. But it is Nick and Nora, and it's a little pajama top. It is so soft. And it has like make, oh, is that makeup? No, I think it's, looks like art supplies and like cameras and cool stuff. So yeah, hopefully somebody has the pants or has pants they can match with it. Uh, we'll see. Oh, okay. This is a brand that I was not familiar with. But um, I posted on Instagram about it and some people informed me that it is actually a very good brand. And I did some research. So it is John Galliano. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, yeah, Paris. So this is a silk. It's like a textured, it's like a python print blouse with you know, fun sleeves. Um, but yeah, it's like a crinkly like silk blouse. And apparently this designer, um, from what I gathered, has something to do with the designer of Dior. I don't know if it's the same guy, um, but I don't know. So apparently it's like a runway brand and does very well. So I was very glad that I picked this up just like based on feeling. It just felt nice. Um, and the tag also, you know, if you ever see like made in France, made in Paris, typically just grab it and where it goes so this was a really good pickup and um, I'm glad I went with my intuition and grabbed it out of the bin okay next bag all right so then I got this BB Dakota new with tags dress and this brand does not well that wash me out this brand does typically not do super well for me but new with tags at the bins I'm gonna grab it. Plus, I really like the color. That's just really fun, like dual tone. Okay, this is another brand that I picked up just based on it being silk. But this is why I don't wear gloves at the bins. <laughs> um, things like this and that sweater, um, I will risk touching nasty stuff. I typically don't even see anything nasty, but honestly, it's worth it to just have hand sanitizer and be able to feel what you're grabbing because you find stuff like this. So this is Chan Lu, and this is handmade in Hanoi. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's 100% silk. This like high-low skirt, and I looked up like scarves from this brand. We're going for like $200. So I have no idea. I need to do some more research, but it's just a really pretty silk scarf, and I skirt. <laughs> That scarf. And I love the color. So if you wear gloves at the bins, that's cool. But that's why I don't wear gloves. <laughs> so I can find stuff like that. Um, this is a J. Crew boy shirt with this really fun pattern. Or I guess it's like a paisley pattern. Okay. And then the last thing in the clothing is upside down. It is a Toad & Co little gray striped pocket tunic. Okay, so now I'm going to get into all the bags and shoes and that fun stuff. Now I'm going to get into some of the accessories and stuff like that that I found 
uh, shoes and purses and stuff like that. So this is a Goyo Mongolian cashmere <laughs> scarf. Um, so I don't really know. This is super good, but it was new with tags. So I got it. This is a really cute Lululemon. I'm trying to show you the slouchiness of it, but this is not working. It like folds over and this is, somebody gave me the name, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> um, it's like the retreat something tote. I'll have to look through my messages, but super fun. This does have like a hole on the back, like right there. Um, it does have some discoloration on the inside, but I was super excited to find this at the Goodwill outlet. And it has all sorts of like fun sayings in the inside, like get it right here, like where you put your water bottle. This is H2O. That's good. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. It's fun. So it's a fun bag. Um, I was super happy to find it at the outlet. This is my, uh, my pride and joy right now. I never want to take her off my arm. I found this bag this weekend, you guys, at the outlet. Can we just take a minute? Uh, yeah. So I don't know what style Tory Burch this is. I do know it's real, um, just based on many factors. Um, it has all the hardware, is what it should be, has all the markings, um, but this bag is gonna be mine. <laughs> I have been wanting a bag like this for a long time and I just have to keep it for a while um, and it did have a bunch of like denim it looked like denim runoff like somebody wore some brand new jeans and like it rubbed on the back but I used this I'm gonna put this down below because this stuff is amazing uh, this leather CPR stuff which got all of that off and it's just in gorgeous shape now so this is gonna be my purse for a long time. I'm just gonna set, set her right there. So yeah, that was definitely the find of the week, find of the month. My birthday was last Friday, so I'm like, I think that's just like the thrift store's birthday present to me. <laughs> um, this is a really pretty coach purse, which I also conditioned with that leather CPR. Uh, it just needs to be stuffed. But yeah, it's super cute. Um, and it's really buttery soft. Another purse. It was a purse week. Or bag week. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. I'm not sure what kind it is. Rebecca Minkoff. Slouchy little purse. And it looks like it's missing a crossbody strap. So that kind of sucks. But that is all right. Okay, getting into the shoes, I got these adorable Doc Martin uh, maroon leather like, combat boots. And now is definitely the time to get those listed, so I'm about to do that right afterwards. I'm trying to find the matches, which is really hard in this bucket. I got this pair of Ugg little like slip on. I don't know, they're not really slippers, but they're not boots. <laughs> they're kind of in between. Um, I also got a pair of Danner boots. I've been wanting to find these for so long. This is my first ever pair I've ever found. The brand is Danner. And they're just like a suede hiking boot. These are the Jag style. Um, yeah, probably get about 50 to $60 for those. Okay, this is a pair of coach heels with a super nice, like, treaded bottom. So they're in really good shape. Coach. Alright. Pair of Jeffrey Campbell. These need to be cleaned. <laughs> they have some toe marks and, yeah, I'm going to clean them. But they're um, just like this wooden platform with like a green suede ankle strap. Alright, this is a pair of Free People booties 
and they have seen better days as well. But I'm not afraid of picking up shoes with damage because people will still buy them. Um, they have a little bit of cracking, but they're really cute. So I actually found two pairs of this crazy style from Jeffrey Campbell. I'm gonna have to look up what it is. This one has a little bit of fading. But there are these crazy platform lace-up boots. These ones are like a cheetah suede. And then the other pair is like this galactic crazy. <laughs> they, uh, they have a little bit of wear, but yeah, so they're both Jeffrey Campbell. I found quite a few pairs of Jeffrey Campbell when I went. Right. This is a pair of J. Crew. And I usually only get J. Crew shoes if they say made in Italy. So they say made in Italy on the bottom. Um, but they're just like a nice little slip on flat. Oh, I was really excited to find these, even though they do have some signs of wear, even though I conditioned them. You can see on the side here, but they are Todd's. I don't know if you can see the logo. It's kind of washed off. Todd's. And these are like driving loafer moccasin type things. So, yep, they do have wear, but that does not really scare me because they will still sell. Um, the next thing, I think this might be actually the last. Yep, it is. So, <laughs> if you've paired with me this long, thank you, because it's been a long haul, literally. <laughs> um, this is a pair of BCBG Max Sazria. I probably said that wrong. Um, but they're the runway booties, and they're just a really cool, like, python kind of print. Um a leather booty and the bottoms are like kind of silver I don't know if you can see that but they're really fun and <laughs> I usually don't get that brand but I think the runway stuff does a little bit better than just a regular BCBG so yeah I picked them up all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um I promise I'll be posting videos other than hauls eventually on this channel but I'm just doing a lot of sourcing right now um it's just really good right now at the Goodwill outlets. There's a lot of new stuff. People are donating a lot of stuff before the holiday season. This is just the best time to go sourcing, in my personal opinion. Um, at least at our Goodwill outlet, they have a lot of donations. So pretty much everything at our Goodwill outlet was raw donations or was never put on the floor when I went these last couple times. So a couple things were in a Goodwill store, probably like three out of everything I got. But most of the stuff is just raw donations because this time of year, a lot of stuff goes in and a lot of stuff goes out. So, um, yeah, go do some shopping, do some sourcing for yourself to find yourself a purse, maybe. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a great week, great week of sales and a great week in general. Bye.